Happy winter. Dan here from Lead with Nature. It's another episode of Learn a Bird. <clears throat> but today is not really about a bird. It's about a season. So I want to talk about birds in winter and some of the interesting things that birds are doing you may notice when you're out there looking at them. Basically, adaptations to winter. How do birds do winter? Number one, just like me today, when it's cold out, they're going to let their feathers get really big and fluffy. So here I am wearing a puffy jacket. It's full of feathers and it's full of air. So birds on days like this are going to get all curled up together, but they're going to let their feathers get super fluffy and puffy. So birds may look really fat on days like today, um, especially in the early morning. Another thing you may see birds do is they may tuck up one leg so it looks like they're a one-legged bird. That's just them taking one of the only parts of their body that is exposed and not insulated and hiding it up inside their feathers. So probably not a one-legged bird, probably just a bird staying warm. And they'll rotate those legs, you know, they'll alternate now and again. Other amazing adaptations birds do in winter is they can regulate their body temperature amazingly. So a lot of our smaller songbirds around here say like a little chickadee we have over here or some of the little juncos or our crossbills that are going by. These birds run about 105 degrees uh, Fahrenheit, their body temp around there, but they can lower that down to the upper 80s or even low 90s sometimes at night so they don't burn as much fuel so they just are able to stay warm and then they can raise it back up during the day. These are just a few of the amazing superpowers or adaptations that birds make in winter. So when you're out looking for birds in the winter time, just ask yourself, huh, what's this bird doing right now to really thrive in winter? Because birds are wise and birds have a lot to teach us. So for today, that's it. Bird adaptations in winter. And if you like this, I teach an online course called Cold Survivors, the story of wildlife in winter, where we dive deep and geek out and hear stories about all this kind of cool stuff too, with all sorts of things, not just birds. Anyway, peace, good bird.